In the midst of a forest reserve, perched atop the highest peak around the valley, the Sajjangar Palace commands a supreme view of the lake city. The towering palace is testimony to our ancestors' water management skills. Equipped with an elaborate water harvesting system, which channels the rainwater runoff from the terraces and courts via concealed pipes to a series of large underground tanks, providing for the occupants atop the hill and averting the task of carrying water uphill. Founded by Uday Singh in the 16th century, on his return from exile in Kumbhalgarh, the Mewari stronghold of Udaipur is situated at the culmination of the Aravli range in southern Rajasthan. Surrounded on all sides by mountains, the location provided both security as well as a surplus of water to be harnessed. The city is built along the twin lakes of Fateh Sagar and Lake Pichola, endowing the city with perennial water, respite from the desert heat, as well as the romantic air for which it is famed. Several ghats, palaces, havelis and gardens adorn the shores, all showcasing the exquisite Mewari style of architecture. Held in by large masonry dams, the lakes feed off the surrounding hills. Canals are used to divert water from across the city to the lakes. The Swarup Sagar, a narrow lake bisecting the city, connects Fateh Sagar and Pechola, enabling overflow channeling between the two. Sluice gates control the water in circulation and prevent flooding. Celebrating their abundant natural resource, the Mewari people built several pleasure palaces, the grandest of which, Sahelion Kibari, is still in working condition. Surrounded by water sources, notably the Jaisamand Reservoir to the south, Udaipur has had a pipe water supply system since 1968. The water is drawn from the various lakes, bowdies and other natural sources, filtered and then piped. Owing to the grandeur and romance of the Mewari capital, it has become a popular tourist destination. Coupled with the lack of infrastructure, this has spelled disaster. The population has rocketed. Hotels, restaurants and an array of commercial establishments have taken over the narrow medieval streets. The heritage which attracts people from the world over is suffering the most. The bowdies are buried in the expanding city, the canals have become sewers and the lakes are slowly receding. 